Hi, it's me, Zay for Beeble Prox, the British tech guru. Uh, today, I went to look at video cameras, specifically the Sony CX405. Um, I've been looking for ages for a camera to replace my phone for doing videos. Um, one of the biggest problems with the phone is I keep being pestered by some nasty software called Google Assistant. And it just pops up and covers the entire screen when I'm trying to make a video. Very distracting. I think it's more of that AI nonsense. Anyway, uh, I had decided not to get a camera because my phone does pretty much everything I want. And I'm not making money from YouTube, so it would be an outlay with no um, immediate equalization income or whatever it wouldn't pay for itself but it would probably make my life a lot less frustrating anyway I went uh, I went out today because I had to uh, get some insurance for my bus and interestingly I had been on my current insurer wanted three hundred and forty three dollars for six months of insurance for a bus that doesn't actually go anywhere at the moment. So I went to my other insurer. I was offered the same identical policy for $180. So I'm changing insurer. Anyway, having done that, I went um, to Walmart Best Buy and Office Depot, is it? Yeah, Office Depot. To have a look at the cameras that they claim to have. They all claim to have the Sony CX405. And I went to all three shops to look at it. I had the same story in each shop. There was a sign in the aisle that said cameras. There was a display case, a plexiglass display case, behind which cameras should be, and there were no cameras, basically an empty display case. Now, I have noticed that display case being empty several times before. In fact, I have not seen cameras in those display cases for several years. Not that I have looked for cameras for several years, but I have noted that they have been empty when I have been in that particular section of the store and that has puzzled me because store real estate is valuable and if there's a display with nothing on it it should be replaced with a display that has something on it that can be sold empty space is dead space empty space costs money so anyway um, it seems to me that people have stopped buying cameras and in fact, you look around and all the camera shops shut down. And Ritz camera vanished, Columbia camera vanished, and none of the other stores that used to carry cameras seems to carry them anymore. And they've all got the, 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 these empty display cases, and they've had these empty display cases for years, but no cameras in them. And commercially, that actually baffles me. So anyway, um, as I said, I went to have a look and see if I could see the Sony CX405, because that's a 1080p camera, and all I need is 1080p. And nobody has a 4K monitor. Well, I'm sure there's probably a few that do, but most people have a 1080p monitor. Most people are viewing, uh, are viewing YouTube on their phones, their tablets, their laptops, their desktops, and very few people, or, or even the TV, but very few people will actually have a 4K monitor. And very few of those people with a 4K monitor uh, will be able to tell me that there's a real difference between 4K and 1080p on a 20 or 30 inch monitor. Even right, I'd even say, go so far as to say, there's probably not going to be much difference up to a 72-inch monitor. 
and I can't imagine there's too many people with a 72 inch monitor. Anyway, and I seem to say anyway quite a lot. Um, the upshot is I don't have a specific camera for YouTube. It, I'm not getting any income from YouTube. The Google Assistant thing is getting really quite annoying. So I'm wondering whether it perhaps is time just for my sanity to get a real camera for YouTube rather than using my phone, which is what, what has been uh, very, very good for me for the last, what, almost two years? Um, but yeah, the, the problem is I have nothing to see in the shops and if I can't see it, I can't check it out and I can't buy it. Um, it means I'd have to mail order and so far every sodding camera that I have mail ordered has been absolute and utter trash. Um, I tried ordering a little video camera from Walmart and I had to return it a couple of days later because the quality was dire. I ordered that one from Tamu and the quality was worse than dire. So I, 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 I'm, I'm really stuck because there's no actual camera shop near me. So this is um, a little frustrating. And it's not like I'm living out in the out in the wilderness. I'm not living in an island in the middle of in the middle of the ocean. I'm not living in the middle of a desert. I'm not living a hundred miles from civilization. I'm twenty miles from a fairly decent sized city. In that city there are no camera shops. And there was Columbia camera, there were multiple instances of Ritz camera, Ritz went vanished, Columbia vanished, and then something called F-stop opened, but that didn't stay too long, that vanished as well. So actually finding anywhere that sells cameras is a little bit hard, I'd have to go to another city. And since I have to drive most days quite a lot um, as part of my job, um, I'm really not a fan of driving places. So I'm not sure where I'm going from here. I'll keep using my cell phone, obviously, but the... Um, the, the, the Sony CX405 is definitely worth looking at and at $230 is not that expensive. In fact, I probably saved, oh gosh, I saved probably $150 today just changing my insurance. That's that camera half paid for. Anyway, I'll leave it there and that's where I am and I'll have to see where I go from here. And I'm Safe for Beaver Rocks, the British tech guru.